said you were that waitress from Friendly's! I lied! You jerk! I didn't feel anything, but you did! Happy Halloween! I'll tell you guys something I never told nobody. You know, I watched a zesty corner once. I didn't know until halfway in. The girls never came. <laughs> now, one of you guys out there has sent me a compilation of Family Guy cutaway skits that you say is so funny, it's gonna make me laugh at least three times. Well, that's good. That's real good. Because if it don't make me laugh, you fired. You out of here like the attractive maid that used to clean here that didn't suck anything. Huh? She's out of here. It's over. Talk about, I got a husband. So? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, let's do this before I go into another story time that I probably shouldn't be telling you guys about. Yeah, Quagmire and Cleveland are great with kids, like Robin Williams and Patch Adams. Huh, everybody's lying around in here. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What am I in Congress? Huh, huh. See, laughter is the best medicine. Please, sir, I'm in so much pain. Shut up and listen to my material. Huh, what's this? Bedpan, Peter Pan. Oh, next stop is Neverland. Come, Wendy, fly with me. Ho, ho. <laughs> we went to Barney's. I heard that's where all the famous people shop for skinny leg jeans. Whoa! These are the tightest, penis compressingest, sperm killingest, testicle grippingest jeans I ever tried on! It's, it's all I have so far. That was horrible. You're as bad as Beethoven near the end. They're gonna love that. I You're getting like old, Beethoven. Brian, and they know it. You're no longer the cover girl. Look at Carol Alt. That, that's what, you, you're Carol Alt. So I'm through listening to you. Fine. Think what you want, aging supermodel Carol Alt. Carol, come in here. They're saying your name on the family man. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? I forget. <laughs> Trust me, you guys are going to get along what? better than Abraham Lincoln and his neighbor. What? 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 Hey, Dale. I noticed your lawn's getting a little high. Yeah, I used to have a guy for that. Dick. Okay, now, you have a good one. Oh, Punky, you have a dog named Brandon. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carol Alt for Polygrip. They did it again! Who? The family man! Is that the one with the fish? No, that's American Boy. Oh, boy, I usually only get this excited when they say the title of a movie in the movie. I'm telling you, these drug dealers represent a clear and present danger to the United States. Yeah, yeah, he said it, he said it. What did he say? All I'm saying is, what if this is as good as it gets? Yeah, yeah, there it is. With the woman, it usually is. That came off so zesty, man. We're going to edit that out. I, oh, God, Lord. <laughs> oh. Ah! The only way for me to solve this crisis is to be Superman 4, the quest for peace. Oh, that's why they call it that. Motherfucker. What? I have been taking it slow. We've been going out for three weeks and I haven't tried anything. No, Even no. though she's been giving me some pretty strong signals. You gotta, you gotta smash. So, do you have any thoughts on what you might want to do tonight? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, I'll do that. Don't listen to Brian Lois. You'd be great on camera. Like I was when I played that dead body on Law and Order. Well, until I got that itch in my crotch. The contusion on his left temple implies he was hit by a blunt object, and the cuts imply a struggle. In the so vagina? it was murder. But the question is who? Well, whoever it was wears nail polish. We found traces in the wounds. Well, that narrows it down. At least we know it wasn't the father. Yeah, but we still gotta find out... Cra he got crabs? Ah, uh, thank God. Chlamydia? You need to stop pointing fingers and get out of the house. Have some fun. Real fun. Not like 37-year-old woman on a blind date fun. Oh, this is fun, right? We're having fun. I mean, so what if you forgot your wallet? I'll pay. I'm gonna pay for us. You'll get it next time, yeah. So you were in prison, right? Killed a man? Oh, I'm sure it was in self-defense. No, I just felt like killing. Uh, <laughs> oh, you tell the best stories. Me and my three eggs are having the best- I've been on a lot of these type of dates. <laughs> I like it when chicks act like this because it shows me that they're really, really invested in sucking stuff that day, you know? <laughs> it's time! But be careful, because sometimes they might try to eat Uranus. Just gotta edit that out. <laughs> 
We now return to Robert Mitchum in Out of Shape, In Shape Guy from the 50s. Gambling is illegal in this town. Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? I'm not really sure. Kind of waiting for you to exhale. Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. It's like that. It's really like All right, that. that's it. We got to do something about this. We have got to get that record and destroy it. Just like that fat person's surgery destroyed Star Jones' arms. I look so good. I lost all this weight. Oh, 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 oh. Coming to show the people how good I look. Oh, oh, shit. And all the juice is being collected underneath? Yes, and whoever collects the most is going to win a free weekend here at the Chateau with international foods and wine tasting. Stop. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Boy, am I going to enjoy this meal. Not like last night when I didn't have time to poop before the guests arrived. Do I have time? You know what? I'm going to go for it. Son of a bitch. Looks like I'm going to have to pile dinner on top of that. Hey, guys, how are ya? When we're done with him, he'll be more of an outcast than a seagull at an Adam Sandler movie. This is my old bicycle that I had from when I was 10. <coughs> Sometimes the banana seat hurts my high knee. No. No. Will you shut up? You shut up, man. It's a comedy. When I ring the bell, it makes my pants feel funny. No. Ring, ring. And when he does, I'll grab his hand and yank him out of there. Peter, I don't think... Shh, it's starting. Two and a Half Men was filmed in front of a live ostrich. Boy, this stinks. It's Friday night and I don't have a date. Well then, let me get you a number from my little black book. ha <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Scarlett Johansson and for some reason, Steve Buscemi. Man, look at that Steve Buscemi. Every one of his teeth is in business for itself. You know, Steve, the art director's job is never an easy one. That's right, Scarlett. But this year... Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the Elton John party. What the hell? I told you we were staying for the governor's ball. And I told you, Tim, we would see how the evening plays out. Ah, <sighs> it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm. I welcome your arrival, because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait what are you... Oh, hey, hey, hey. Come on. Hey, hey get out of here. Hey. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. He was my neighbor, and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Well, it's a long shot, but so was the shouting Arab Graham business. From John and Keith. You've got to be aggressive even more aggressive than Michael Jackson's treatment of his own groin on stage. Oh! 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 Come on! Oh! Oh! Come on, man! It ain't even got a... Why is there holes in it? Oh! Oh! Thank you. I could never imagine doing that to my There's penis. one person I... I really want you to meet. Oh, yeah? Who's that? The American people may have turned against the war, but I answer to a higher power. I answer to the power of Jesus Christ. Oh, well, uh, that's funny because I happen to have Jesus Christ right here. I heard what you were saying. You know nothing of my work. How you ever got to be president of anything is totally amazing. Boy, wouldn't it be great if life were like this? We now return to Meredith Baxter in Raped by a Clown. Mother, it was awful. He made me do things. Awful things. What kinds of things? I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> it means I've got to get a job. Otherwise, we'll be in worse shape than morbidly obese Albert. Hey, morbidly obese Albert. We brought you some chocolates. Oh, I can't eat those chocolates on account of my diabetes. Remember they had to take my foot? Oh. Look on the bright side. Now you get your shoes half price. Ha, ha, ha. You dirty mother... All right, maybe I'll have one. Fight him! Fight him! Oh, are you kidding? We'll go together better than Hannity and Combs. 
My problem with liberals, Alan, is that liberals hate America. Sean, I don't know if that's true. You just contradicted me. You hate America. If I could just get a word in. You hate America. You like the terrorists. Well, I guess you're right again. Well, Brian, looks like you're the odd man out, like a non-praying mantis. Bless us, O Lord, for these gifts we are about to receive. Help us to be mindful of all our blessings and... Jump him. Jump him hard. Come on, let's head home before Stewie gets hurt, like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, because I used to worship Summer. Waka waka. Uh, I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at all. Ha! Huh, your kid got beat up by a baby girl. Oh, man, this is more painful to watch than when Family Ties does a Tina Yothers episode. Jennifer, what happened in school today? I got my period. And I will see the Keaton family next week. Motherfucker, why would I care about that? Oh, we can't just leave Mort back in time. That'd be more irresponsible than silent movie porn. What? You're a handsome woman. <laughs> yes, and I'm quite baldy. I hope you brought rubbers. Indeed I did. It suffered a fatal heart attack from the excitement and I disposed of it properly. Oh boy, I miss the old days when it was just a flaming bag of poop and a hurtful note. <laughs> Well, I did write for my college newspaper. Yeah, didn't Yo! you do an interview with that fast-talking FedEx guy? Yeah, I ended up dating him for three months. That's a beautiful shade of lipstick. I bet you enjoy the music of men at work. You're incredibly foxy. Take off your shirt, take off your pants. Wow, what a body. That feels good. I'll give you a call. You better get tested. Ah! Peter, it's been eight hours, and I haven't heard back from Cleveland or Quagmire. I even tried Joe. This is my wheelchair. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without me, my wheelchair is useless. Without my wheelchair, I am useless. Shut up! Okay. It sounds like FoosyTube now. <laughs> he crazy. Ruin this for me. Don't ruin this like you ruined Kick cereal. Mmm, this Kick cereal is good tasting. And it's good for you. Nah. Oh boy, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. I, uh, I misspoke. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid hat. Damn it. I paid 15 cents for this ticket. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. God, could he be any more annoying? Oh, hey, it's Tom. Tommy! <laughs> hey, hey, here you took that black chick home. Hey, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Why are they selling all those DVDs so cheap? Because, Chris, DVDs are outdated and obsolete, like white tracks guys. On your marks, get set, white guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. This can't be it. This doesn't look familiar. You're right, Brian. Apparently, this is a universe where everyone has to take a poop right just now. <laughs> Hey, okay, uh, Bill, you got those numbers? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just leave them on my desk. Okay, that works out fine for me. Where's your desk? Doug knows where my desk is. Craig, are you good with this? Yeah, that should work out pretty good for me, too. Oh, my God, he prairie dog. Oh, my God, you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! It'll be fine. We shouldn't let this ruin our night. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Nigga. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! God, she's more stubborn than you are. Daddy, I want a turn on the swing set. No. But you've gone for two turns. Get lost. It looks like fun and I want to do it. No, I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a big jump off. I used to do those. Ah, get mom! 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 I used to do that. I hey, you're a bigger downer than a German bedtime story. There once was a boy who liked to suck his thumbs. 
His mother asked him to stop, but he wouldn't. So she cut off his sums. Now he has no sums. Good night. Mother f Oh, you're just gonna pretend I'm not here, huh? Just like Robin Williams' agent pretends he's still funny. Hello? Hey, Phil. It's Robin Williams. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just wanted to make sure the meeting is still on for 2.30 tomorrow. Otherwise, I gotta go to that Chinese dentist. Get it? 2.30? <laughs> you son of a bitch! I had a mouthful of coffee! God, you were funny, and that is real! Holy smokes, this is a sure thing. Like the end of a Mexican wedding. Wow! You can't fall off that ladder. Not all dogs go to heaven. So, says here you're involved in the plotting of September 11th? Well, that's what they get for supporting Israel. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Gosh. Okay, into the eternal pit of fire you go. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. Oh, but you got to take advantage of this. Seize your moment, like the duck founding father. Gentlemen, these are all important fundamental rights. But I move we strike the right to bob for small fish with your butt in the air. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. The motion carries. There you go, being confident, like an Italian guy in any given theoretical situation. If that was me, I I'm just saying, if that was me, they are lucky that was not me. Because if the circumstances were such as you have described them, but with me in them, that's a very different and scary outcome for those involved. If. That's a solution, set a course for- One moment, Captain. They're about to announce the winning numbers for the intergalactic lottery. Today's winning numbers are 18, 24, 41, and 72. Ah, yes! You're damn right! Hell yeah! You can suck it! You can suck it! You can suck it! You can all suck it! Live long and suck it! Oh, by the way, Meg, I forgot to tell you, your grandfather needs you to pick him up at the airport. Ugh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Okay, now me. Oh, that's a stop sign! <laughs> I'm watching TMZ. I hate this show. Keep watching. So what do you got? I got Richard Dreyfus coming out of the bathroom of his nephew's play in Rhode Island. Richard! Hey, Richard! Hey, can I get your autograph? <sighs> Fine. You have a pen and paper? What do I look like, a Staples? I don't carry that stuff around. Look, I'm sorry I can't help you. Oh, what, you too big and famous to walk over to that corner drugstore and pick up a pen and paper and possibly some other groceries I need and come back and sign several things for me? You're a jerk! Oh, I'll, I'll God, be that. TV pilot. I'll well, be I'll that. Brian, you must feel I'll like Hitler that. did after he wrote Mein Kampf. That. Well, we read it and we don't like it. <sighs> we love it! Oh, -ho! Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> got me! <laughs> I could have killed you, Mr. Weinberg. <sighs> I guess you're right, Lois. I'm always screwing up, like that time with Jason Mraz. Oh my God, you're Jason Mraz! No, I'm not. I'm just some guy with a hat. Yeah, that's who Jason Mraz is! Wow, that was terrific, Jessica. It was good for me, too. Ah! <laughs> got, got you again, Quagmire. You said you were that waitress from Friendly's. I lied. You jerk. I didn't feel anything, but you did. Happy Halloween. I guess I could try it. Trust me, Peter. Yeah, I was right about telling you to go see the gynecologist, wasn't I? I'd like to see some vaginas, please. That's what we're here for. Come on in. Yeah. Birdman hand rub, baby. Yeah! What's going on? Did I miss something? Ah, just some idiot streaking across the field. Uh, uh, you are all looking at my penis. You didn't plan on it, but it's happening. That's right, and that means he had you first, Lois. I'll always be Scotty Pippen to his Michael Jordan. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jordan! And Scotty Pippen. He's also good. Why didn't they do Jordan last? Alphabetical? Oh, right. That's smart. You're smart, but still. Joe, your 25-year-old son and your baby daughter share a room just so you can keep a weirdo beautiful mind room? Isn't that a little bizarre? And then we dug the bullets out of that Iraqi family's skulls so they couldn't be traced back to us. 
Today, I saw a balloon. Oh, boy. Listen, thanks for putting up with me the last couple weeks. Hey, no problem. You put up with me when I was barefoot, guy. Boy, nothing like a beer with the fellas, eh? Oh! Hey, would you mind putting on some shoes? Oh, ah! foot prisons? Yes, I would. Ah! Ah! I think he's right about that. After all, we couldn't even turn a double play. All right, Griffin's on the ground. We're going to second. Let's turn two here. Ground ball's a double play. Ball plays at second. Let's look sharp. Tough T, tough T. Let's flash that leather. Heading the game. Plays the second. This infield is a great wall of China. Nothing's getting past us. Good D behind you, Bry. Good D all around. Right now. I'm okay, everyone. Don't worry. I am okay. My voice sounds weird. This is weird, I know, but I feel fine. I can get you steady work with a voice like that. Really? Wow, thank you. It, this is great. Now I won't have to become a Mary Kay saleswoman. So, what makes these shampoos different from the ones at the supermarket? These shampoos have been in my car. Wow, that was amazing! I mean, usually the shows suck in this town. Like Moisha, the low-energy bar mitzvah clown. Ooh, what's this? A quarter? I found it behind your ear earlier. All right, that's enough tricks for you. I'm gonna go lie down on the coats. I'm really gonna miss that club. You know what part I like the most? Walking around the locker room naked and offering people sections of a tiny clementine. Clementine? Oh, thank you. Clementine? None for me, thanks. Clementine? Yes, thank you. Clementine? Yeah, I'll have one. Ooh, softly. Sorry. Yes, I'll have one. There you go. God, it's good to be old and nude. We climbed Mount Everest! Isn't it amazing, Brian? You can see for... Oh, you're doing your pee thing. Right. I don't really know what the point is. I mean, there's no way other dogs can smell this. Trust me, Stewie, they'll know. They'll know the world is now mine. <laughs> no way. Well, that sounds awfully lonely. Like being an NBA player on the road. Baby, I miss my wife so much. Thanks for understanding that we can't do anything. I just want to cuddle. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm just doing what a man should do, respecting the sacred institution of marriage. And now, straight to sleep. This message brought to you by the NBA. Let's all pretend this happens. No. Of course, tonight is Randall Evan Battencourt. God, I hate understudies. King Louis XVI has been sentenced to death by guillotine. Yeah! The part of King Louis XVI will be played by Jean de Menard. Ah. Relax, you're gonna do great. <sighs> Nailed it. Great, trust me, nobody's gonna give you a hard time. And even if they do, just ignore them. That's what I do with that weekend bully. Hey, your weekend sucks! I've already gone on a hike and fixed a few things around my house. What are you doing? Peter, who is that man? I don't want to talk about it. No, no, no. What are you doing? How long you been there? Those names is no good. Look, why don't y'all just give me a list? I'll run them up to God and see if he picks one. No. No. That's the name of a champagne. No. No, terrible. These are all just terrible. Relax, God. You want me to get y'all some wine and cheeses? Wait, what'd you just say? Cheeses. You want some cheeses? Oh, come on. They're not all bad. Oh, yes, I've seen the women you bring home. That stutterer, she was a real prize. How are you enjoying your meal? Lois, it's d d d delicious. Oh, for crying out loud. Peter, why are you turning up the heat again? Lois, this woman is obviously freezing. I wish my daddy were here. He always knows what to do. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, I better leave a note. It's the right thing to do. Ah! Ah! Hey. Hey. Damn it. What oh, is this? Are we? I'll start peeing soon. It's gonna be weird. He'll be all done and I'll still be here. Come on, Peter. Pee. Your dad fought in World War II and you can't even pee in a urinal. What the hell's wrong with you? All set? Yep. I know you didn't go. I'm gonna go pee in a stairwell. Are you saying you want me to stop hanging out with Joe and Quagmire? They're my friends. They're all I got. And you know how hard it is for me to make new- She for the streets, bro. Let her go. I'd have broke up with her and just let her suck stuff, bro. Wife or not, I could care less what the female is. New friends? Is this friends?
Hi, NBC, this is Peter Griffin. Listen, you guys are doing a great job. If anybody knows what America wants in the 90s, it's NBC. But I just have one small request. I like Dateline, but I really hate waiting two hours to find out who the killer is. Tonight on Dateline, a woman murdered. Was it her ex-boyfriend? Yes, it was. I knew it. I knew it was the ex-boyfriend. Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. Oh, I could use the money, and I'm getting kind of tired of my old job. Only a half a point divides our top two competitors as we enter the last event, the Meg Roll. I'm telling you, the Founding Fathers would be very disappointed in where their country ended up. Eh, it wasn't so perfect back then, either. And so I say unto you, sons of liberty, no longer will free men live under the yoke of giant predatory birds, shrieking, swooping down, stealing our livestock. What's going on in here? N nothing uh, just bellyaching about the British. Get back to warming those eggs. Miss Lohan! Lindsay! Over here, Lindsay! Excuse me, which one was Lindsay Lohan's dessert fork? Uh, I think it was that one. Every <laughs> cocaine! We now return to Ethiopian hoarders. <laughs> I don't know how it got like this. Hey, guys, uh, can I talk to you for a second? I did something terrible. Ah, oh, hey, we've all done terrible things. Attention, everyone. The plane is sinking, so I need you all to proceed onto the floating slide. Dear airplane people, I owe you one floating slide. And just so you know, the guy stewardess was angry gay, not happy gay. What does it say? Nothing. Just instructions and stuff. Oh, you should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasized. Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I did not extend my gratitude to you for your unwavering fairness and belief in me, and there is a giant poo on your desk. <gasps> Holy crap! Oh my god! He must have autoerotically asphyxiated himself! Yeah, while he was watching clown porn! Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby, you make me so horny! Oh! Uh, yeah, what the hell? Go shoot some animals! That sounds like fun! Hey, beats sitting at home watching Meg Popper zits. Oh god! Kevin, I want you to meet your little sister, Susie. Wow. Hey, little sis. I guess we got some catching up to do, huh? Hope you don't get scared when I scream and have night terrors. It's quite all right. I've seen worse. <coughs> A human centipede. How ghastly. Where are you boys going? We're going to New Orleans, the party capital of America. Home of the all-you-can-pay straight. I tell you one thing. It's all about the beads down there. We all know what's going on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going oh. on in this thought bubble. The oh. kids don't know, but we do. Oh, anus. Anus beads. All right, Stewie. You all set oh. to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa? Oh. Oh, I hate being around old people. They've always got weird stuff in their refrigerator. Oh, I'm hungry. What do we got? Let's see. Eye drops, baking soda, and some film. Close the door. You're running up long distance charges. Oh, what? I don't know why Lois always said she had problems with female co-workers. So Abby, Elaine, and Janet have their little lunch click, and of course, I'm not invited. Seems like you're doing everything, and they're doing nothing. Well, I don't know, but what I do know is that in the staff meeting, uh -huh. Christina said my uh -huh. inventory system wasn't feasible. She's obviously when the threatened by you. the sales manager came back in it's the room, ridiculous, she told and I him the idea you as if it was hers. You can't let and him get Teresa to you. And then Teresa acts like she's friends with me, but there's a have. coldness there it's that I don't to do trust. With you and everything and to I have do never with seen them. her eat anything. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> Would you be interested in getting them together for a play date? Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Look at them. They're getting along like Billy Bob Thornton and his cat. Billy Bob? Leave me alone. I'm taking a bath. Well, and I'll tell you who you should really be praying for. Out-of-work clowns. I need 40. Oh. Yep. 
you know what? Let's just turn ourselves in. I got a great lawyer, and he says worst case, eight to 12 years. And when we get out, we'll still have the rest of our lives ahead of us. Goodbye, terrible women. Yeah, give them a chance, Joe. Like I did with scary teenagers. I used to be afraid of them until I realized they were just misunderstood. Hey, fat ass, give me your wallet. I could give you my wallet, but what I think you really want is love. It's true. Ooh. 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 I'm taking your shoes. Ooh. Damn. This must be how twins who were separated at birth feel when they first meet. Damn. Trade house keys, bang each other's wives? Yep. No, I don't think I can take another semester at the school, Ruth. It's torture. It's worse than sitting next to a baby on an airplane. So what brings you to Kentucky? I'm visiting my family. Ah, family man. Me, single and ready to mingle. Tom Brunel's the name. Insurance is the game. And right now, the game is very good to me. Yeah, those bastards have ruined everything. The same way the village people ruined any gathering of a cop, an Indian chief, and a construction worker. Oh my god, can we get a picture with you guys? We're not those guys. Yes, please leave us alone. We're very busy. Now where were we? Oh yeah, we've got to solve that security problem for the Indian casino we're constructing. But Mr. Pewdishman, you gotta do something. The potholes ain't getting fixed no more. The stoplights ain't working. Tampon commercials no longer use blue liquids in their demonstrations. Oh, oh right. Right. Make it blue, that's always been the deal. You show whatever you want, but you make it blue. Yeah, you should go for it, Joe. Secrets are what keep a marriage fresh. I have a CB radio in the basement. I go down there a couple times a week, have CB sex. Lois has no idea. Breaker, breaker, one nine, watch your 20. <laughs> oh, it's so hot just knowing you're in a truck. What? Look at this, Cleveland. Front of the bus, back of the bus, middle of the bus. You guys are doing great. Step forward, maggot. Ah! Next time, that'll be you. Well, why wasn't it him this time? Oh, I'm so scared. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! 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 Yeah, you're real big when you got that stick, ain't you? Okay, I'll stop now. Man, Peter, what are you gonna do about the mob? Don't worry, I got a plan. I'm gonna hide and change my identity to a name no one else has ever heard of. Roberta Brown. Peter, that's my daughter's name. No, it's just some girl I follow on Instagram. You know, Peter, there may be a way out of this. Cops have been trying to bring down the Rhode Island mob for years. If you can schedule a meeting to discuss your differences and wear a wire, we'll arrest them after. Testify against a mob? How dumb do you think I am? <laughs> oh, my son! I thought that hard-boiled egg seemed a little shouty. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> you're dark, Raj. I don't care. Humpty, your sock is drooping. You should totally pull it up. Really? I, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Just lean a little further and get it. <laughs> you think you can bang Leslie and I'm not going to do anything about it? It's been three weeks, and you haven't had a single job lead. Well, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Boy, what a great day for a baseball game. Yeah, and these are the best seats in the house for catching home run balls. Oh, that'd be sweet. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. <laughs> All right, I got the guy. I got the guy. Oh, look, there's one guy who slept through this whole thing. Hey, buddy, wake up. We're all about to die. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, I thought I should wake you up. Nobody wants to die in their sleep. Oh, my God. No, I have a family. There you go. Then this is the thanks I get. Uh, well, it's not the first gift that's ever gone unappreciated. Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Oh, Peter, thank you. An arcade-style Galaga machine. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Pete. Move! Peter, you've done some stupid things, but crashing the internet has to be the dumbest yet. Look at the chaos you've caused. 
I have no idea how to drive without texting! Oh! Why can't I post this video? Hello. What did you say? Why aren't you looking at your phone, you psycho? Why is no one liking my posts? Well, I hate all your posts. Hello. Ah! <laughs> Very accurate. Yeah. Oh! Hello. Wow, you dropped the big one, huh? Hiroshima, you're like a hero. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, I can't imagine killing 300,000 people. Do you know how many 300,000 people is? Fill like six football stadiums, then just kill them all, you know? And, and not only that, but what people forget is you ruin millions of lives on top of that. It's, it's, it's like you were saying, not only am I going to kill you, but you can't live here anymore. Hardcore, man. Hit me. Oh! Okay, you guys, it's all set. I found Joe's dad on the internet, and he just emailed me to say he's coming tomorrow. My gr Mother... Great, but remember, this is a surprise for Joe. Why are you looking at me? Because you're terrible at keeping secrets. Well, I'm not. I'm great at it. Like when I was an OBGYN. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Some kind of practical joke. Like, like the kind I used to play when I was an intern at the hospital. I'm afraid I have some very bad news. Your wife's gonna be a vegetable. You'll have to bathe her, feed her, and care for her the rest of her life. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I, I'm just kidding. She's dead. I laughed about a good five, six times in that video, so you may stay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blossom says D. Twist.